Okay, what's going on everybody? Just waking up, <clears throat> having my hot java, my hot caffeinated beverage. We're going to talk some of the greatest Christmas movies, in my opinion, that I watch yearly, just like when I watch Halloween films. Best part of Christmas for me is going nuts on the Christmas movies. So let's start. Going to show a few here. Got a stack. Getting them watched keeps me going. My spare time. <clears throat> The classic Home Alone. Could be better than that. Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern, Macaulay. Yeah, that's a good one. Though I also love Home Alone 2 just as much. Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern. Amazing. I love everything about these movies. The adventureness, uh, the emotion, the hilarity. It never gets old. It's too good. Chevy Chase, Christmas Vacation. Do 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 Christmas Vacation. I love that movie. Doesn't get better than that. The Santa Claus Trilogy. Go back. You can see my filming locations. All the spots from this movie, The Santa Claus, from 1995. That's of course the best one. Second one, very good, has its moments, has its moments. And number third, or sorry, the third, number three with Martin Short as Jack Frost, hilarious. Marty, Marty. I get better than Martin Short. Plus it's Jim Carrey playing the Grinch. What are you doing, Jim? Jim Carrey. What, what are you barking at? What, what are you barking at? Eight Crazy Nights. Great movie. Sandler's animated classic. A lot of people don't really like it. It's an underrated film. I love how he does all the voices, the music. It's a good movie. Rob Schneider, absolutely hilarious in that. As is everybody else who does a cameo voice. So we got Alan Colvert. Uh, the whole Sandler crew. Blake Clark. I love them all in all the Santa movies. Great movie for Christmas time. Yes. Speaking of Adam Sandler, this movie Mixed Nuts with Steve Martin. Steve Martin, absolutely hilarious. And Adam Sandler plays a character by the name of Louis. And this is one of his first films. Plays a little... You, uh, little mandolin type, uh, a little guitar. Play some funny little ditties on that. Also, this guy, Scream 2, Liv Schreiber. Hilarious. Great cast, great cast. Steve Martin. It's a good one. Time for some cappuccino. I'm in Another great movie is A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Love all three Harold and Kumars. The Christmas one, just as good as Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Just as good as the Guantanamo Bay one. And it's in 3D as well. Like I said, so check that out. Put on some 3D glasses. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Neil Patrick Harris, NPH. Hilarious in that movie. I wish they'd do another Harold and Kumar for that ship fully set sail. My last tripod snapped, so I'm handling this camera right now with a brand new tripod. It's Gemma having a lay. Oh, bad Santa. People get confused with bad or Santa thinking it's the second one. The second one is called Bad Santa 2 with Kathy Bates. Same character, same kid, he's grown up. You won't get better on the first one. So vulgar. Rest in peace, John Ritter and Bernie Mac. They are so friggin' funny. The raunchiest of ways in this movies, in these movies. Billy Bob Thornton, amazing. Christmas with the Cranks. Jamie Lee Curtis. And in the words of Johnny Depp, nobody insults Tim Allen on my watch. The Night Before. This movie is awesome. Probably the most recent in my collection as far as released. Only about five years ago, Night Before. 
favorite Seth Rogen movie of the last 10 or 12 years. <laughs> Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Hilarious. Oh, yeah, this movie is hilarious. I love it. Very funny all the way through. Three best friends. One epic party. Check that out. Not seen it. And yeah, so a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. I love this one. Got the 3D glasses to go with it. You watch this on a big screen with the 3D shades. Oh, three dimensional. And look at this. Would you like a waffle, Mr. Harris? <laughs> it's not a pancake bot, it's a waffle bot. They're awesome. And that's what we're talking about. Sorry, the Xmas special. <laughs> Cigarettes in the reef. The Trailer Park Boys Xmas special. Oh, I love it. I love it. Another great Christmas movie that people don't really think of when they think of Christmas films in general is Catch Me with the, uh, sorry, Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo and Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, that one definitely gets Christmassy. And so does Step Brothers. A good half of the Step Brothers film was based around Christmas. In fact, this, pretty sure this photo on the cover is actually them in their Christmas uniforms. But yeah, a lot of it does take place. There's a Christmas picture of them all right there. So I'll have to get some more of that in as well. And I plan on doing uh, some filming locations from Step Brothers including the house and others, uh, perhaps this summer. Don't want to veldge too much into that. We'll wait. Oh, Seinfeld, the Festivus episode. A Festivus for the rest of us. You can find that in the eighth season, I believe. Eighth season of Seinfeld. Uh, what's the name of the episode? I believe it's The Strike. Right, The Strike, because Kramer goes on a bagel strike. And then George's father, Frank, played by Jerry Stiller, is running around going, Fast of us! There's no tree. It's a pole. It requires no decoration. I find tinsel distracting. Oh, man, love that movie. Can't wait to pull that out. Yeah, you know what? Might as well leave this out. Might as well leave this out. Uh, small corrections. Uh, season 9 of Seinfeld is brought out of my collection where you will find the Christmas episode, The Strike. That's the Festivus for the rest of us. That's right. And George, George invents the human fund. The human fund. Also, Why Him is a newer Christmas movie featuring Brian Cranston and James Franco. This has some hilarious moments too. No spoilers is a good one if you've not seen it. Go with that, a more recent Christmas film. Worth a go, worth a go. All right, I'm gonna go look at some, uh, I'm gonna go check out something else now. So yeah, I just wanted to talk some uh, Christmas movies and stuff, something I wanted to develop. I kind of wanted to divulge, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? A little deeper into some of these. Movies like Home Alone and Home Alone. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! What the hell are you talking about? Festive. I know, Gemma. I know, I got it, I got it. A Christmas story. We forgot about a Christmas story. <laughs> Looks like what maybe my grandfather used to look like when he was a youngster. Rest in peace, granddaddy. There's bugs. Christmas story. I was going to do the filming locations to this. However, the tour part was canceled because of COVID. Still going to happen. I will do the filming locations for a Christmas story sometime soon. Rest in peace, Darren McGavin. Uh, Gemma, I know it's your favorite. Gemma loves a Christmas story. She said, don't forget about a Christmas story. Fragile. Ah. Must be Italian. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, no, no, don't worry. I got it. I got the double man doll. The one with those things that shoot out in front and the rock'em sock'em jetpack. Yeah, I got it. 
I got it right away. That doll, <laughs> of course. All right, so got another coffee here. It's festive beverage time. I'm doing it all, doing it all. S stick a little Bailey's Irish cream. Make this an Irish coffee. Don't mind if I do. It's the Christmas season. Wouldn't be the Christmas season if the stores were any less hooter than they are. Hotter, hotter than they are. Getting all them classics in. Cookies. I gotta get the recipe from Les. Put that cookie down now. Every single year, Christmas time, must watch the classic Grinch cartoon. Love it. It's awesome. And also the original Frosty the Snowman. Said so I think it came out what 1951, which would make this its 70th anniversary. Frosty Returns is great too. I like Frosty Returns. It's a good one. The Muppet Christmas Carol. For years, uh, I've been looking for this on DVD at a decent price. Finally got it. Didn't They took it off Netflix last year. So I had to rent it on the cable box. It was worth it. Love this Jim Henson production. Oh my god, the music. It's my favorite Muppet movie by far. And my favorite version of The Christmas Carol. Here you go, FUBAR 2. It's my buddy Diener, who I've met multiple times. And FUBAR 2, half of that movie is All Out Christmas. Great Christmas song at the end. And those guys are funny. The Canadian Cheech and Chong. Let's give her again. Huh. Christmas Vacation 2. It's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. Randy, Qu Randy Quaid's hilarious. He's hilarious. And he carries that one. It's too bad he doesn't have Chevy Chase and the rest of the clan. But still, worth a gander. Batman Returns. My favorite Batman movie is All Out Christmas Movie as well. Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, Michael Keaton. Tim Burton. Tim Burton did an excellent job of making it a very gothic-y, Christmas-type movie. Love it. So I never not watch Batman Returns in December. My favorite Batman. On Her Majesty's Secret Service. The only James Bond movie to go through Christmas. Mr. Lazenby's up in the ice capades. It's pretty cool. One of the most underrated Bond films, but very Christmassy. I always get that in in December as well. Bond. James Bond. Someone had actually gifted me a free copy of an old version. Of Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. I can watch the Muppet one, the Muppet Christmas Carol, and Charles Dickens. Black and white. It's from 1951, which means this year marks the 70th anniversary of Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. Okay. Christmas spirit. He's just hanging around. He's watching ya. He's watching ya. Look at this elf. Just hanging upside down on the watch. He's watching ya. He's watching ya. On the watch, fella. Look at these trees of sheer gold. Look at those. Some of the most gorgeous trees you can see. Look at that. It's a tree made out of diamonds. Oh, diamonds are forever. Here we go. Look at this. Another elf on the watch. He's on the watch. They got elves watching this place. The elves are watching you. Look at this one. He fell off the watch. Bill, they're watching you all over this place. Watching you. Check it out. See this wall behind me? Pretty cool. Everything you see behind me on the wall, this is all done with electrical tape. Isn't that something? 
everything you see in black, which looks like, almost like it was done with a Sharpie and done over. These were all made with electrical tape. It's a pretty good artistic detail done with electrical tape. Find things like that interesting. Let's take a look at some of it. Yeah. It's a dragon breathing fire. How the heck do you make a dragon breathing fire out of electrical tape? I guess this is here all year round. Not too hard to make crosses at the top of a church. But some of this stuff, very difficult to do with electrical tape. It's all the way down there. Let's go check it out. Harder to see the walls down here as it is roped off. I don't want people pe peeling this art. They'll peel. Little kids or something, they'll peel. Is there some electrical tape? It's loose. Be peeling that giant friggin' stereo off there. It's like a revolution radio. It's pretty cool. Tape art. Art by electrical tape. Isn't that cool? Ottawa's favorite mall. Electric Tape Central. This guy. She's made out of tape. It's a form of art, right? It's electrical tape art. Right there. Live life in style. I try. I try. I try my best. Look at that though. Pretty cool. Can you believe they do this with electrical tape? Bring me along here. Electrical tape, wall art. I'll keep talking. Always some music at the mall, but check that out. She's shopping, she's got her Christmas shopping done. She's made out of electrical tape. Looks like there's some of the Parliament buildings. Parliament buildings, something I've not done on this channel. I'll take you on a little tour of that one day, probably sooner than later. But check that out. Wall art by tape. Taping. I am taping tape. I'm taping tape. Peace, sunshine. This guy's got it right. It's time for a hot caffeinated beverage. Even if it's 10 after six, never too late for a caffeinated bit. Those must be comfortable shoes. Look at that. Electrical Tape Art Hall. Oh, his brains are working, his gears are grinding. I think you need a bigger hat, sir. I've got your whole profile here and that tree above your Adam's apple. You need a bigger Santa Claus hat, sir. That's not gonna keep you warm in this deadly winter. The winter is brutal. You're gonna need a bigger hat, one that covers your ears. Or they're gonna freeze off. I like the little car you got though. Check it out. Look at the little car. Maybe he's not in there. That's not him. He's in the car. recommend a headband. Oh, he's been struck by lightning, even worse. Even worse. Since 1910, Carlos. Hoboken Break Bait Shop. This is the Bake Shop Express. Check it out. Doesn't this look like a cool New Jersey store? It isn't. It's an express because nobody actually works here and we're not in Hoboken, New Jersey, even though it was baked in Hoboken, New Jersey. Look, you can order a cake straight from New Jersey, comes out of this machine. Ooh, look at that red velvet. Hoboken style, baby. That's pretty awesome. Oh, that red velvet. I'm gonna bite into that. Look at that. Rainbow cake. Rainbow. 
best enjoyed at room temperature. They deliver it daily. From New Jersey to Ottawa. Wow. This is the dude. He must make it in Jersey. He's not, he's not here in front of me. There's no actual shop here. It's just this machine. You put it in. Vanilla confetti cake, cookies and cream. Red velvet, yeah, that's the one we're looking at. Rainbow cake slice. Rainbow cake. Carrots. You don't make carrots into a cake, I'm sorry. Carrots are a vegetable. But look at that, once you're ready to eat, you got your forks come out of here. Pretty neat, huh? Let's get New Jersey cakes. Right here in an Ottawa mall. That's right, buddy. That's right. That's right. I might come back here and have a slice of cake. Is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Okay. I believe you. I believe you. It looks pretty good. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Doing my Christmas shopping. It ain't cheap for wrapping paper. I guess $7.98 for three pieces. That's not too bad. I'm going to have to check out the dollar store. But... Made my selections, check it out. Coconog. Sorry, I'll show you the English side. Holiday coconut nog. All right. The sugar, got the regular eggnog. Regular eggnog and Mr. Rummy. Right there, I kind of like the Nielsen eggnog, but I got the final one liter that they had. I might have another shelf in another part of the store, but that's why I went with one coconut nog. Would be pretty good with Bailey's. I'm into festive beverages. Keeps me awake. There, there's Frosty up there. Not looking too Christmassy. There's Santa. There's Santa. Waving at you. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to check the dollar store for wrapping paper. $7.98. We can find cheaper. Well, let's see what the dollar store has to offer. Oh, oh there's Dino. It's Mr. Christmas Steggy. Looks like a Stegosaurus. And a pig with angel wings and a Santa hat. Piggy diggity. Seems the going rate for any type of wrapping paper is. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. 124, 398. Okay. Now we're talking. I don't have to go to multiple stores. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. 124. You want to go all out. Even just bags. 198. 198 a bag? That's a little crazy. Look at this. If you want to pay 1698, you're really wealthy by the expensive fine paper collection. Jeez. 16 bucks just for paper. Yeah, you know, these look pretty nice. That, that one's nice. That one's good. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I go with this. Yeah, that's ain't bad. That's what I'm talking about. Don't think you'd get better than that at the dollar store. 124. Sold. Yeah, so they really only give you so much with each roll if you're paying 124. So I'm grabbing two. This one's got candy canes. This one's striped. Classic. Got my eggs. All right. These. The fishies. The fishies. <laughs> They're dead. They're all dead. This is the worst Christmas ever. Oh, look at this Santa. Oh. It's cold. Hey. Ooh. Hey, look. I'm in the Arctic. Look at what we got here. Silly penguin is back again. Too damn hot for a penguin to be just walking around here. Hey, he's got a light sock. Hey, this up. A little area so you can do, have a little fire or you can do a little ice fishing. Yeah. We're ice fishing. We are ice fishing. Oh Lord. Everybody's an artist. I don't know if that's quite true that everybody's an artist. I consider myself a musician. I create for you guys this YouTube content. So in a way, I am an artist. I do write my own stuff. Check it out. Oh, 
Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Look at that, I just live in here. Got some art right here for you to look at. Paint trees at Color Me Mine. Look at all this stuff, there's a dog up there. Big dog. Star Wars logo, I don't know if the camera can make it out, but that says Star Wars. These are all Star Wars, look, that, that's actually Vader. That's Yoda, or baby Yoda. And the droid, it's the droid up there. You can make out Spider-Man right here. Beside him's the Wolverine, it just hasn't been painted. Maybe you just come in here and you paint all this stuff. Look at all that. Paint all those trees in there, whatever color you want. Trees, snowmen. Baby's first Christmas, come in and paint your own ceramic Christmas tree or personalized ornaments. Look at the gigantic ornaments. Paint it up yourself, and you too can be an artist. Everyone's getting married. Look at those Christmas sweaters. That's a comfortable coat, ma'am. Look at that, look at this guy. Basking in the light. Some sort of faceless angel. Wow. Just add a little light. The Walmart will grab some Snickers peanut brownie. This looks pretty interesting. They're not very big. Seems as if it is a peanut brownie. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, perhaps give these a little try here. A little taste testy. They'll come up with a little name for these taste test things. I don't have a stupid mask on in the store, of course. I think it'll be like that till the end of time. Christmas, 2022, 23, 24, 25. It'll be the way it is. Mmm. Wow, it's very brownie like. Mmm. It's pretty brownie like. Caramel. That's good. Mm -hmm. You know what? Peanuts are good. Doesn't taste like a Snickers, really. Yeah. Doesn't really ta taste like a Snickers. It's its own thing. It's melty. Creamy. It's creamy. They're pretty good. Mm. No, I wouldn't uh, rush back out to get it, but another one, but I got two here. You want one? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Can't give it to you. So I'm going to have to eat it. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, a little brownie in there. Man, I guess it kind of tastes like a Snickers. I like it. Mm. Yeah, Snickers, peanut brownie. Pretty good. Oh, yes. oh, a little bit of it. Oops, no worries. Hot chode. Christmas flick. Get warmed up. <laughs> Clean that up too. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Miss Jemmy got her grooming. Got her grooming. Yeah. Why? Nighttime in the winter. Sure, Christmas. Gotta watch the bridge. There she is. Show them your haircut. Just went to the groomer this afternoon. Yes. Look at him. Good stare. Liquification.
That's going to do it today for today's episode. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Notify you when a new episode goes up. You never know what we're going to be doing on Mr. Thrash's show. That is hot chocolate. Today we're going over some Christmas movies. Doing some Christmas shopping. And some festive beverages. We're not always doing this, though. You never know what we're going to be doing. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hit the notification bell. I'll let you know when a new episode goes up. And come along for the adventure. So we always love to have you along. Hmm. All right. We'll see you next time. For Christmas. Yeah, my savior is born. It was a great night. You were born December 19th, 2014. Christmas, 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 Christmas.